Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today I'm announcing the first ever community research project and we are going to be taking a look at the concept of good and evil from the perspective of Jungian psychology. Can we speak of people that are good and people that are evil? Or is it simply a matter of perspective? Do different personnel types have different ideas on what is good and what is evil? Can we say that evil and good are simply matters of perspective or development or who you are? And can we say these terms are useless or pointless to talk about? Or is there some value to the term of good and evil? And can we use it to understand personality type and personality psychology and health in some way? What I need now is your help with some tests I've developed and some surveys that will help us understand these concepts better. Together we're going to be discussing good and evil from the perspective of personality types. We're also going to be discussing good and evil from the perspective of what good is and how we can understand it and how it is different from evil or whether we can understand or talk about good and evil in an objective sense. Today we're going to be first starting off with a small test, a good or evil test. I developed a test that studies you on four metrics. Either you are good or you are evil or you are neutral or you are chaotic. I've developed a test with some basic questions that will help us try to understand what good and evil could be and how it could be defined. My first question is, does this test work and can it accurately pinpoint the difference between good people or evil people or neutral people? And can it help us understand it in a way that can help us perhaps make some peace with the concept of evil, accepting its role in society or at least its cause or where it comes from? Good and evil, I believe, is a matter of knowing what is right or wrong. Some people seem to have a very clear idea of what is right and wrong. In politics, there are people that have a very strong belief in their representative believing their party to represent good or believing the opposition to your party to represent evil. A lot of time in politics you fall into this partisan mentality that is really interesting to look at, which is a matter of how easy is it for you to have belief in that you are a good person and that you are doing the right thing compared to how prone are you to questioning your own values, your own decisions, and your own party, or your own culture, your own identity, not knowing or feeling ambiguous towards the concept of good and evil. To some people, good and evil is simply a matter of pros and cons. Every candidate in politics has their benefits. It's all just a matter of small differences. Everybody is different. There are different ways to good. There are multiple parties and all want to make the society better. Or, I have a party I represent that I strongly believe in, and the other party I believe is going to destroy our society or is going to bring damage or long-term problems to a lot of people out there. So we can talk about good and evil in the matter of partisanship. We can say good and evil is a question of... Uh, how easy it is for you to accurately define what is right or wrong. With neutral people being people that struggle to or don't know how to identify the difference between right and wrong. We can say that an evil person is a person that knows what is right but decides to for different reasons, greed, jealousy, anger, hate, uh, anything negative in their psyche do evil and we can talk of people as that are good as people that know what is right and that decide to do the right thing even if it is difficult for them or even if they are upset or even if they feel angry or jealous or have some kind of negative feeling or resentment we can talk about evil as the matter of you know the most primitive reptilian aspects of people the most reptilian, the least advanced sides of people, the most instinctive or more emotional 
or more uncontrollable aspects of our psychology. You know, people that act based on whatever gives them some kind of feeling of relief or some kind of feeling of uh, um, relief from anger or hate or jealousy. And we can talk about good as people that can set aside their instincts or their negative feelings in a situation and try to do better. But we can also talk about the chaotic person, the joker. I mean, this is really interesting with the movie The Joker coming up. Uh, I don't know if you're as excited as I am to watch this movie. I'm really looking forward to it. Then I really want to make a video discussing it later on after it comes out. Because chaotic types, they are people that don't know what is right or wrong and act based on primitive instincts or urges or emotions rather than principles. We have people that have no clue what is good or what is bad, but decide to do what's most fun or most pleasant or most pleasing or what will give them an outlet for their anger, rage or hate or jealousy in the moment. They don't know if it's right or wrong to steal or they don't have a clear concept of whether it's right or wrong to hurt another person. They don't understand the question of whether you should lie or not lie to a person. And they are prepared to do it if it feels right in the situation because they uh, feel a strong feeling of anger or feel fear or feel some kind of negative emotion that drives them in this direction. So first out, what we're doing in this community research is we're starting out with a basic test to try and see if we can measure or understand the concept of good, evil, neutral or chaotic personality types. Then we're going to be looking at which cognitive functions might be involved in good and which ones might be involved in evil. Could it be that people that act on the lower aspects of their psyche, their insecurities, their negativities, their sense of victimhood, their sense of anger, their sense of more primitive, more uh, negative feelings, could it be that these types are more prone to being evil or towards being chaotic? And could it be that there, there are a group in society that are neutral, not in the sense that they don't try to do good or try to do their best or try to improve or try to develop themselves, but in the sense that they simply struggle to know the difference between good and evil or lack a clear understanding of these things. We've already got a pretty good discussion going about this in the Discord community and I really invite and encourage you all to join in. I'm going to leave a link down below in the comments. It's a great chat slash forum where you can talk about all our current research topics and projects and everything we're doing right now to study flow, psychology and Jungian archetypes. In this uh, discussion, uh, one of the people said that uh, we have good people out there, or people that believe that they are good, that do evil. And I think this is pretty interesting to talk about as well. People that have a strong idea of what is good, and do what is good, but don't have an accurate idea of what good is. They blindly passionately believe they are doing the right thing when in reality they're making the world a worse place to live in. I think this version of uh, good is actually more common today than uh, the alternative. Uh, people that believe or recognize the good and accurately know good and act accurately try to do good. And I think this person is pretty interesting to talk about. You know, the new direction we're going in as a community is authenticity, which is accurately representing yourself, doing something 100%, committing yourself to your beliefs or your values, doing something with heart and soul. And a lot of these good people, these good slash evil people, these evil good archetypes is, they are or they can be hypocritical. They can say something outwardly, yet harbor a dark secret or uh, some darker personality traits that nobody 
will recognize in them. And it can be as if there is like a compensating dark urge to represent or counteract their good urge. And the question is, where does it come from? I read a book recently about a human rights lawyer who was extremely violent towards his kids. A human rights lawyer, on every day representing the good, always trying to do to make the world a better place, pushing and helping those that were accused of, uh, who are put uh, exposed to human rights crimes, trying to help people, then coming home and hitting their kids, just for the lust of it, just for the fun of it, just, I don't know why. Why? Do people do such things? What makes a person do these things? And uh, how can we be humanely good? Because I think that's going to be the ideal. To be humanely good. Not to always do the right thing. But to do the human thing and to do the good thing. You know, to do as good as you can. But with respect for who you are and your needs and uh, your limits and your boundaries because I know there's a lot of people in this community that try to do good and push themselves to do better every day yet fail to set boundaries and fail to say no and fail to let people down because you know sometimes that's gonna happen you can't help everybody you can't fix every problem you can't save everyone you can't solve every problem yourself so the question is perhaps what is healthy good what is accurate good what is really good how can we understand good from the perspective of an INFJ or an ESTJ How can we find a balance between all these different perspectives on what good is or what's valuable or what's right or what's wrong? How can we build a society where people can accept each other's differences in values? How can we understand good, evil or neutral? I'm really curious how you're going to test this uh, new good or evil test. So I really encourage you all to take it. The link is down below and after that we're going to follow up with more discussions. So... If you have any ideas or if you want to contribute to this, uh, let me know in the comments down below or join the community and you can always reach me there as well. Thanks for watching and uh, looking forward to see what we're going to learn from this project.